One of the biggest red flag when you're dating a new man that most women overlook is this one. How does he behave when you're giving him constructive feedback? Does he go defensive and talk, 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 but then in his action behavior, nothing changes? Or does he take this feedback, self-reflect, and then you see that there is change in his behaviors? This is a huge characteristic that you need to look at in order for you to choose the right partner for you. Being self-reflective is such a huge quality that we need in order for us to grow and be able to build a healthy relationship. With they someone. tell you to change every time they talk about a good relationship. When she says, you need to grow, she really means that. We're both 40 years old. We've grown used to this reason about growing up in your 40s. I already know at least some things about who I am. Yes, small things will have to give in a friendship. Hey, everyone. It's great to see you again. Leftover modern women are worried. Men are leaving the game. Let's get started right away. I need my algorithm to give me more people who are 30 and like just starting over. Or give me more people who like started to make it at 30. Because I'm feeling those things of like, bitch, you, there's no point in even trying because you turned 30 recently. There's no point in even trying. And I know that is unproductive. Like I'm aware that that thought is also what's going to keep me where I'm at. Because that thought is also why I'm not where I want to be. And I'm not even that fucking far off. Besides what you're seeing here, and that's not my fault, the dryer was fucked up. The dryer, it took an hour and a half to get me clothes that had to be draped all over my apartment. And guess what? I like the apartment. That's sick, right? My life, not like that astronomically far off and from what I want it to be, but I also might just be saying that to make myself feel better. You know what I mean? But all around, happy other than everything that is not there but you know what i mean so if you're feeling like hey i feel like i'm too old to be working on this or i thought that but then i got somewhere let me know because i feel so you want the program to give you a new group of 30 somethings who hit restart like it's their morning coffee honey you might as well wait for your dryer to spit out neatly folded clothes while you wait for a magical algorithm to give you the drive if you turn 30 the world is telling you Hey, maybe stop binge-watching life goals on Instagram and start making your own. Your life isn't that far away, right? That's great. But guess what? Not only isn't the moon real estate, but no one is ready for a deal on the moon. So why not just get there, instead of thinking about how close you are? Or, keep telling algorithms to do the hard work while you let your thoughts dry naturally. You make the call. Would you tell a man that you are dating multiple people? This is a DM I get from you guys a lot. Let's dive into it because there's a good way to handle it in a bad way. Here's the thing. Nowadays, until you are exclusive, you are not exclusive. And both parties involved are aware of that. But for some reason, because women are raised to be the nice girl, women feel bad about that. Believe me when I say, you guys, men do not feel bad about dating multiple people when you are not exclusive. And you should not either. But the classy way to handle it is not to shove it in his face and use it as leverage to try to make him act differently. Because that never works with men. So say that you want a guy to text you more often and you're like, well, Chad is texting me more often. He's going to hear that and he's going to shut down and he's going to be like, well, then text Chad. He's not going to be like, oh, I need to rise to the occasion and text her more. The classy way to go about this is to be evasive. That's how you use this method to your benefit. Rest in the knowing that you are doing nothing wrong, period. Until you are exclusive, you are not exclusive. Those thoughts will never leave my mind. Even though I'm a man, I'm not as knowledgeable about them as you are. However, what little I know about them makes me believe that you will never be exclusive. This way of thinking and this advice are what keep women single. It looks like you have a great team. You do you. However, the people you hire will be a bunch of F-boys who will never take you seriously. The guys you want to be with only won't even glance at you twice. Again, though, what do I know? I'm just a guy. So I turned 30 in like six weeks, and I've been single my whole life. And I don't really know of any other people who are in the same position. I've got people who are like, oh my God, I've been single for so long. Like, you know, it's been like three years since my partner broke up with me and I'm there like, I never had a partner. Um, and I don't really know, like no one, my, none of my friends, no one in my circle, I haven't really met anybody who actually is in the same position. I know there's people out there. So hopefully this reaches the right people. I mean, technically I did have a boyfriend when I was like 11, um, but we 
never broke up and then we went on summer holiday so I guess technically you could say that we were actually still together so I've either never been in a relationship or I've only ever been in one <laughs> jokes but yeah I don't know I think it's a really weird thing because society expects you by certain ages to hit certain milestones including partner house marriage kids and I'm like I have none of those things and when you're single and you've always been single you have to plan your life as a single person like when I think about the future I can't plan my life with a partner in mind because I don't have that right now and yeah that's how I feel at least I plan my life as a single person what are the things I want to do I want to travel I want to run my business and if someone comes along and I fall madly in love and we have the best life together ever amazing but I think when you've never had a partner you can't imagine what it's like to actually be in a relationship to actually like have your person so yeah don't really know what I'm trying to say but are there anybody else who has this? <laughs> Is there anybody else in the same position? Now that you're almost 30, you've been single longer than some people have lived? Girl, you've only been in a few relationships, and you're still thinking about the 11-year-old summer fling as the one that got away. I take it that you're still waiting for him to return from his trip? All of us other people are out here dating like Netflix shows, but you're holding down the fort for Team Forever Single. I get it. Life's timeline is like a pressure cooker, and you just want to stay away from the flames. But making plans for your life by yourself isn't a bad thing. It's a chance. You're thinking about all the things you can do by yourself, like you're the lead in an independent film, while the rest of us are balancing our relationships like a circus performer. So you haven't met anyone else who is like you? That could be because they're too busy living their best lives to care what other people think. You're looking for a single at 30 club when you could be building your business and seeing the world, with or without a partner. And it's great if Prince Charming shows up while you're doing your thing. You won't have to wait for a love story that's still in the coming soon stage if that doesn't happen. My 30-something-year-old women who don't have kids yet, but you want kids, but you feel like you're running out of time to have them, where are you? Because same. Um, and I just feel, I'm 32. And I just feel like I'm in this place in my life right now where I'm a little selfish. I just moved out and bought my house in December with my boyfriend. And I just feel like I want kids eventually. Like, I definitely want children. But I don't want them right now. But then I'm like, am I getting too old? Like, do I need to get a move on? I'm not married yet. I would like to be married before I have my kids. Like, I just feel like there's so much to do, and, like, I'm running out of time. So And every time I see my aunt, she asks me when I'm freezing my eggs. So that doesn't help. But, like, I don't know. I'm just not ready. I'm still, like, I feel like I still have never even had, like, my dream body yet. I don't want to get pregnant yet. I'm still trying to get fit and, like, in shape. And, like, <laughs> my friend brought her baby over last week, and it was me and my sister and our friend, and I was like, holy shit, like, you have a baby, and then you just have to bring the baby everywhere. Like, I know that sounds probably stupid to some people, but I don't know. Like, I love being able to just, like, leave the house in the morning and go to Pilates or go meet up with my friends or, you know, I, it's like a selfish era, I guess. And I know once I have kids, I will love them and want to spend time with them and it won't feel like like right now i always complain about the dogs i'm like i fucking hate feeding the dogs you know the dogs are pain in the ass but you know i know children are different but like i don't know can anyone relate like 32 definitely want kids someday just don't want them right now but like when when's when's it too late i don't know now that you almost died during a baby visit you're having an existential crisis about when to end your selfish era. You don't have to get rid of your yoga mat and start looking for minivans just because your friend showed up with her little person. There you are, acting like feeding the dogs is the hardest thing in the world. Girl, wait until you see how a baby will scream at you like they're trying out for a scary movie. You're 32 years old, and it feels like your body is telling you it's time to stop, but you're still trying to do Pilates without a baby bag. People will tell you that your window is closing, but that doesn't mean you have to give up your freedom for a baby plan. The window works fine. In fact, you might want to put up some blackout shades and sleep while you can. Even though kids are fun, you don't have to become a parent right away, 
because your friend has a baby. I think you'll know you're ready when feeding the dogs doesn't feel like a race. Also, if someone says it's too late, tell them you're busy living your best life, one dog complaint at a time. You know how men are always like, my girlfriend always says my stomach hurts and she feels sick. Women. When you're single, do you ever feel this way? Because I know personally, I'm always sick when I'm in a relationship or there's a man in my life. And when I'm alone, I feel perfect all of the time. Don't get married. It's fixed now. Why do we keep going on dates and looking for love? Yeah, that issue only shows up on TikTok. My biggest life regrets are not doing these things in my 20s and waiting till my 30s. And the damage is already done once you're in your 30s. So. Yeah, you tell him, sister. So, I'm a mom. Start these things now. Like, please, for me, if for no one else. The first one is sleeping on your back. The weight of your human head actually compresses your bones, your muscle, your collagen, and whatever side that you sleep on, if you sleep on a side, and you probably do sleep on one side, that side is gonna get droopy and sad. And that's this side of my face, like everything is lower. Number two is putting sunscreen on your chest. My chest has so much more sun damage than my face and I would let it just get fried out in the sun so there's like pigmentation, broken capillaries, like redness and just looks old. Lastly, chemical exfoliant masks once to twice a week. I had so much acne, I had so much acne scarring, I just have pigmentation that's still left over from all of that and I feel like it would have been so much better if I did chemical exfoliants, like duh. When you saw that post, you all thought about the movie. Even though she took good care of her face, she looked like an old woman trying to look young again. It wouldn't surprise me if she got Botox. She looks like she's not real. Starting at age 18, women need to form healthy habits. If they don't, hitting the wall will feel like hitting the wall, and trying to get healthy all of a sudden won't make up for 10 years of being a slob. Still, being nihilistic at a young age makes life useless. You should be as religious and hopeless as possible if you're a post-wall Karen, because we need less of you making everyone else's life a living hell. For young women who are afraid of turning 30, all you need to do is learn how to clean, cook, and keep your legs together. You could also meet a man you like and have a good life in general. To let people know you like the show, click the like button. If you click the bell, you'll know when I add new pictures. Thanks for everything you've done. Do something right away. Check out more videos of people hitting walls by coming back to this page.